Cesar Chavez, Dolores Huerta. I saw Dolores not long ago. She's still a fighter. She's in her 90s. She just doesn't stop. She's, <laughs> she's, and she has this wonderful sense of humor. That's something else I want to talk to you about. The farm workers basically said to people, you can't escape. Uh, if we are being treated badly, you are being treated badly. We are in all of this. All of us are in this together. We are all workers, not all of us, but we are so many of us, working people. And to allow the farm workers to be treated as they were being treated, without getting involved in our campaign, is to indulge in a fantasy of escapism. Harvey Milk. Harvey Milk said repeatedly to gay people around the country, come out. Come out. Because when you come out, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your children will see that we are everywhere. We will Understand that you can't escape from the prejudice against gay people because that prejudice hurts all of us. That bigotry hurts all of us. The third work avoidance mechanism. And you can say, I'm not denying it, I am not escaping it, but you know, it's really their fault. It's their problem. They brought it on themselves. It's scapegoating. And how many times have you felt yourself or heard somebody else say, well, the reason that those people, you know, they're trying to get in the United States, uh, they, are, they, are, they are undocumented workers here in the United States, they are people who are very poor, uh, they are are falling into deeper and deeper poverty. They are on the streets. They are mentally ill. Uh, they, 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 you know, they brought it on themselves. It's their problem. It's too bad, but it's their problem. A leader who wants to overcome that gap between the ideal and the reality, a, a leader will make sure that we overcome scapegoating. Fred Karamatsu, who as a Japanese American was interred, jailed during the Second World War for doing nothing except being a Japanese American. Fred Karamatsu would not stop fighting that injustice. He fought all the way to the Supreme Court. And he made sure that we did not scapegoat Japanese Americans. But we understood that their rights were our rights. And if we locked them up and could get away with locking them up, then none of us was safe. Another one of my heroes, a doctor named Paul Farmer, went around the world making sure that as many people as possible were inoculated against tuberculosis and other diseases. But what he really told us was, you can't scapegoat those poor people who have those diseases. It is not their fault. We are in this together. And finally, as I've suggested to you, 
the fourth work avoidance mechanism, which I personally find the worst, the most insidious, the hardest to eradicate. A true leader helps people overcome cynicism. And by cynicism, I mean, look, I, I'm not denying that there is global warming, or I'm not denying that there is widening inequality. I'm not denying any of these problems, and I'm not indulging in escapism. I know that they are my problems, too, and I'm not scapegoating anybody. I, I know that they are not responsible for them, but nothing can be done. Nothing can be done. When you hear those words, tell yourself that those are dangerous words. Nothing can be done. Are we wedded to our own narrow view of what? Political feasibility? If that's what we are wedded to, that little Overton window, nothing will be done. I want to introduce you just, not personally, but one of my students in this class, in this class a few years ago, Mindang she as a teenager had been trafficked that is she had been trafficked for sexual purposes she was vietnamese she was a new immigrant she didn't understand what was happening to her and I will never forget our conversation when, with tears running down her cheeks, she said, it wasn't until I got to Berkeley that I understood what was happening to me, what had happened to me. Some people say there's nothing you can do about trafficking of children. Min Deng, right now, she is the leader of one of the most important anti-trafficking groups working in the United States and spreading around the world. Another person who was in this class not long ago wanted to go into politics. I said to him, you know, if you go into politics, this is a very, very hard road. He said, I want to do it. Andrew ran for the city council in Seattle. Amazon was against him. Now, when Amazon in Seattle is against you, <laughs> he used it to his advantage and he got elected. And I saw him Monday night, and he's doing wonderful things. He overcame cynicism. Which gets me to you, 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 you. And you. And you. 